my whole perspective on like the reason or my drive of like playing the way or playing this game, it, it changed. I told you, I it used to be this where um, I always walk in gratitude. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm always grateful and, and thankful of like every day breathing, getting up, taking care of my family where they they taking care of, like pray all that. I, but when the shit become a business, it I had to shift like my my love to like my kids. Where it was like my I had my son at the right time, my oldest, I had him right when I was going through everything. Mm -hmm. So right when I had him, um, I'm like, all right, I'm solely solely doing it for like PJ. I'm only doing it for him. And it, that came from like his grandfather one day telling me this comes from like his mom's side. Mm -hmm. He say, you on the phone one day, Reese, he say, bruh, uh, I, you, I know you're gonna do what you want to do, but hey, PJ Love going to them games, and it hit me like, damn, I ain't thinking about my man's, mm -hmm. like him having that experience of being on the court before the games. Mm -hmm. But how did Steph Curry become Steph Curry? Mm -hmm. He was shooting on that rim ever since he was fucking six and seven years old. Oh, That's why he got a push shot. Mm -hmm. Cause he was pushing, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. His first real court was an NBA floor. So giving his son the opportunity, a chance to become whatever the fuck he want to become. Right. Yeah, if you want this opportunity, it's here. And I felt like I, I was taking that away from him. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, I'm taking away his opportunity if he want to do it. And it made me like um, go back. It made me go back. So I, I, I leave New York. I go back home, I talk to my mom and them, and at the time I can't take it. My my, my mom and them over there, my, my guys over there, my financial advisor over there, everybody like, man, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. What's going on? Like shit, it's crazy. Like, like you can't, you like they basically telling me I can't quit. I'm telling them like, yes, I am. Like I'm quitting, bro. Like I'm, like I can't deal with this shit no more. I'm totally dead. Like I ain't y'all. I, I, like I handle shit different. Like it's like I can't take it. I remember my mom telling me, "Baby, you can do it." After she was cursing me out, them simple words, <laughs> "Baby, you can do it." And I like mustered up, mustered up enough strength to like go back. I go back. I hope still not happy, still just doing it for him. And uh, I leave here. I leave here. What we go out there? Why go out? I just fucking go to Cleveland. So I'm in Cleveland. Everything going good. That's when I met Art. My man Art. Art, by the way, was. Can I tell you a story a little bit? So my best friend Randall, I was telling you about his little brother Lang, R.P. Lang. They were best friends, and uh, Art at the time was helping everybody in Chicago from the Hoopers to J. Cole to if you needed a gym, Art and uh, he's sleeping in the gym, helping people when he in college. So I bump into him and I'm like, "Bro, come live with me." He like, "I right, fuck it, I'm moving down there with you." I had to talk to his mom. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking a Jewish kid to come live with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I talked to her, make sure everything was cool. Right. She okayed it. He go down to Cleveland with me. Everything started off good. I fucking get hurt again. My ankle. Uh, I, at this time, my, my shit like really fucked up. And I'm like, man, like I'm done. Like I'm really done. And... I knew I couldn't go back and tell my mom them because last time they just was like just on my ass about it's going back. Going back. So I'm with my queen at the time. And like at that time she she the woman I was down with now, she changing my whole shit. Like when I met her, she I, I had low hair. I met her, some told me, grow your locks. Grew my locks. Like I holding my energy. Whole shit, like, just, like a, 
No, no. <laughs> no. You know, it should be changing people. No, look, look, you misunderstood. You got a hat on right now. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's like her signature. If it was ever going to be the pants. It's like her signature. It's the pants. But she misunderstood. You look at her, you just thinking like, all right, she like she looked like a little white girl. People don't know. She mixed and shit, and she's from the hood. You would just think like she went to, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Yeah. I meet her, shit started to change. She like slowed me down. Like I just went through through, through the uh, rape case. She there. She didn't like shy away from and run away with it because run away from it because I told her like honestly what was going on. Like bro, we ain't rape her. Mm-hmm. All right, I believe we get through that. We go to Cleveland and um, Art move in with us. I have my baby girl and. Uh, I tell her, like, we are, one of the reasons why, like, I love her is because we disagree about a lot of things. She's just not going to tell me yes. You know what I mean? We disagree about almost everything, bro. And um, when I told her, like, I one day I packed up, we packed up all our shit. Art is in the house with us, bro. We packing up all our shit. He don't know what's going on. We just get our bags. I'm like, I know before we got our bags, I'm like, man. I'm done with this shit. I'm finna go to Mexico. You gonna come with me? This is Cleveland. This is Cleveland. Right. I'm finna just run away. I'm finna go to Mexico. You gonna come with me? She no disagreeing. She saw my pain. Fucking, I'm a ride. Right then, I knew I'm. I, I'm gonna marry you. You know what I'm saying? Like it was one of those moments. Like damn, no. Like you see, you feel what I'm going through. Right. All right, better get your shit. All right, see us leaving out the door. He like, what's going on? Like, like, what's going on? I'm like, all right, we'll call you when we get there. He like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. like he's yeah. fucking panicking because my friends and them gonna call him. Like, hey, what poo at? Uh, like, all right, we coming down there because my guys and like, hey, the season, the season's still going on. Hey, what? He like, what the fuck? I'm like, all right, we'll hit you when we get there. We go to um, New Mexico. We get there and um, I'm done. In my mind, I'm done. I'm getting all my shit together, this and that, and. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It was just like the the resort we was on was pretty nice, and I don't know. It was just a short flight. Right. No, it wasn't short. We ended up flying. <laughs> we took regular flights, bro. You took regular regular flights, man. Again, nobody called us. Like we were like peep that like we was on like the just leaving when the season was going on. You know what I'm saying? Right. So and my agency. Like they, like they didn't know. Like if we would have got a private, I would have to go through them to like order the yeah, private and this and that. So got regular flights and I'm flying from like flights. Sent, connected flights. Jeez, went through hell. <laughs> the guy went from San Fran to um. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, at the time I'm I'm going through it. You know what I'm saying? Like hey, it's whatever. So we end up going from like San Fran, we end up leaving, going to um, Mexico or whatever. Mm-hmm. We down there, my financial advisor, everybody like blowing me up, my mom, everybody trying to figure shit out. Art, they cursing Art out because they like, motherfucker, you lied. Like, you know where they at. He like, I don't know where they at. They just told me that they was leaving. Wow. Get the. Did they talk to you up? No, no. Why are you Why are you just want to know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It was just like some Bonnie and Clyde type shit, bro. Like, where? Oh, yeah, sometimes you need those moments. Nah, nah, bro. All oh, right, come live with me. All right, cool. Yo, I'm out. I'm going you when I get there. Like, wait, what? He still had a crib to himself. I was good. I was eight. Nah, I know you good, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We so get there, and um, the general manager called me and was like, hey, I know you might be done, but just come back and like we're like take care of like we're like try to figure shit out. <laughs> so I, I end up hearing them out. I go back. I'm having to talk to a therapist. Like I said, they think you this neurotic ass like character now. But it's like, oh, he's Fontaine. We don't know what the fuck to think of him now. Like right. because he may leave this and that. Right. You just pulled the Dave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Uh, I go through the process of that. I wake up one day, I look at the ticket, it traded to Utah. Like, what? Traded to Utah? Nah, tell my agent they already got people there. 
Like, I don't want to, like, wave me. I don't want to be there. They wave me. Now, I don't got a job. Now, me and Art is at Cleveland State, working out every day, like, trying to get back, like, to the league. Good. We get a call from Tibbs. He's in Minnesota. He say, um, by the end of the year, I may have a spot for you, but it may not be at the position that you at. You'll be playing a three. I'm like, fuck it. If I can squeeze in any way I can, I still like I'll do it. This trap trapper turns smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve, you heard.